Hello Hunters! I am Aileen. Welcome to Bounty Tube. This is a video about 7 best Shodan alternative you have no idea about. Have you ever heard of Shodan? If you're a bug bounty hunter, then you probably have. But, do you know about some other great alternatives? Well, we have your back. Shodan is an incredibly powerful open source search engine. It's a lot like Google and can be used to find all sorts of information. It has one gigantic advantage over Google though which is that it scours the internet in ways which aren't always visible to Google crawlers. This makes it a killer tool when searching for things such as hidden subdomains or misconfigured databases that don't follow the traditional HTTPD rules. There are many alternatives to Shodan, but they have some limitations. In this video, I will be describing the 7 best Shodan alternatives for Bug Bounty Hunter. Some of these alternatives are free and some are paid. So go ahead and subscribe and let us dive into it. Here are the 7 best alternatives to Shodan. 1. Ivra.rocks IVRE means is French for dynamic recon of unknown networks. IVRE is an open source framework for network recon. It relies on open source well-known tools like MAP, Mascan, ZGrab2, ZDNS and Zeek to gather data or network intelligence, stores it in a database, and provides tools to analyze it. It includes a web interface aimed at analyzing map scan results. 2. Graynoise.io Graynoise is a cybersecurity platform that collects and analyzes internet-wide scan and attack traffic. This data is made available through the web-based visualizer and Graynoise APIs so users can contextualize existing alerts, filter false positives, identify compromised devices, and track emerging threats. They also have free trial, so you can check it for free. 3. Leak9.net Leak.ix is the first platform combining a search engine indexing public information and an open reporting platform linked to the results. They intend to provide a preemptive solution by trusting individual researchers and security companies on the most sensible data we index by delivering a clear report on the incidents. They also help to identify what information has or could be affected and how to resolve the issue. 4. Onipehe.io Onifi is a cyber defense search engine for open source and cyber threat intelligence data collected by crawling various sources available on the internet or by listening to internet background noise. Onifi does correlate this information with data gathered by performing active internet scanning for connected devices and also by crawling website URLs. It then normalizes information and makes it available via an API and its query language. 5. And Atlas.io Natlas is its a collection of maps to make it easy to perform continuous scanning and review collected data. Natlas is not to identify a bunch of vulnerabilities, but rather to identify exposure. Perhaps you want to make sure that no one is running SSH with password auth enabled. Or perhaps you want to look for any exposed NFS, SMB, or RSYNC shares. Maybe you want to look for expiring or expired SSL certificates or weak SSL ciphers being used. Since Natlas uses the popular map port scanner, you can easily use any default map scripts in your scans. 6. Ghost Project Ghost Project is a private service and it's easy and available to groups of all kinds and sizes starting at $30 per month. Provides programmatic access to read pawn data. Retrieve a email, addresses, usernames, passwords, provide an OAuth connection, retrieve a family, filter them, etc. They allow users to search through specific databases for free, but you can only see the first 20 rows of the search results. 7. Hunter.io Hunter lets you find professional email addresses in seconds and get the email addresses behind any website. The domain search provides a list of the people working in a company with their name and email address, all found on the web. With 100 plus million email addresses indexed, effective search filters and deliverability checks, it's Hunter's most powerful email finding tool. Thank you for getting to the end of this video. Try them out, one at a time. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated and educated. And leave a like or comment.
Until the next video it's bye for now.